I think the biggest challenges that people are going to face in 2019 is around AI, machine learning and robotics. Um, you know, we're already looking quite seriously and heavily at drones for surveys. Um, you know, we're doing, taking large amounts of data away from our construction sites now to check have we built that exactly how we wanted to build it. The other thing with robotics, we're really, really heavily looking at can we get machines to lay tarmac much faster without people on board. So challenges that CIOs face in 2019, particularly in public sector and healthcare, would be very much about making the most of resources. As we try to make sure that all waste is reduced out of what we do, it starts to make the budget tight, the resource tight. So it's how do we make the most of everything we've got. I think that's something that CIOs in healthcare have been trying to do for a decade at least. But as we move into 2019 with an idea of, of what the bright future could be becoming more and more prevalent due to the way the new minister talks about technology, it really gives us something to grasp onto, but a direction to, to drive towards. It's the level of work that we can do. There's so much demand for digital technology. It's, it's, it's incredible. And if you get it right, there's this mass need of change and projects. How do, how do we manage that? How do we make sure that what we say is that, that we'll, what we can deliver? I think that's the big one for me. The other, my other worry would be about cybersecurity. How do we keep that, making sure that we're not in the press for the wrong reasons? The biggest challenges for my organisation is the challenges of culture and the adoption of technology. Um, so obviously we work in a clinical environment. Clinical environments are fast paced, they're changing rapidly. And yet my, my colleagues who work on the shop floor have a lot of things to do. So it's really about cultural change and attitude to technology, I think. What I'm really concerned about is the pace of technology change. So we're seeing the rise of cloud computing become real mainstream. Um, we have core systems in, in our Azure compute platform. Um, we're putting a lot more uh, business critical, not just development, but business critical applications in that environment. We're also seeing the convergence of AI and machine learning starts to take into play there. We're using those technologies to manage workloads, but then expanding out beyond that. So the pace of change um, is something that really concerns me um, about the industry in general, and keeping my people up to date on all of the skills that they need and developing those skills. And we're seeing a disruption in career paths as well uh, for those people. And that's where it's really important that I keep up to date on training and development and accreditation as well from third parties, you know, from outside bodies. Definitely AI, um, machine learning, automation, just automating processes, taking things that we used to do as paper-based into technology. Stop, you know, in my world, in construction, stop taking the very large plans on site and doing things through iPads, through cameras, through drones, um, you know, and then taking that data and learning from it for the next projects. Technology that will define 2019 in healthcare probably is the conversations around AI. Not because it's here yet, not because it's making the difference that it, 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 we're all led to believe it will, but because of the amount of possibilities that AI brings to what we're doing. I think every healthcare organisation is now looking at how can AI make a difference to what we do. In my organisation we've got a number of small projects just to test the water to understand what it means. But I think AI is, without a shadow of a doubt in healthcare, the digital work phrase of the year. I think the technology that will define 2019 is, is one for, within businesses, automation. So how can we automate a lot of manual tasks? Um, within version trains, I don't want my colleagues to be doing manual tasks. I want a lot of the grudge work, if you like, to be automated. Let, so let our colleagues think about you know, more interesting things, things that would add more things to the business. Um, with, with our customers, I think there's a plethora of different technologies that will, will be out there. The ones that are most intuitive and easy to use, you know, will we'll win. Um, you know, what, what's the what, what's the best app? Are there too many apps? I think there probably is. So, but what's the things that will reduce anxiety? For me, at Virgin Trains, there's too much anxiety for our customers. Technology can be a big help. Let's make sure that we reduce that that anxiety. End-to-end -end journey, etc., will be a big thing next year. I think. So the technologies that are going to define 2019, you'll see mainstream core capability in cloud computing um, and the emergence of AI and machine learning from being very much a speculative try to an actual do. We are working with partners like Mango Solutions in the data space, with Eigen um, in the uh, cognitive and machine learning capability space and such. We expect those to go from pilot to full production use 
within 2019.